Thought for the day for March the 30th. Numbers 12 to 13, Proverbs 8 to 9, Luke 22. What a challenging statement that is. All who hate me love death. It is the final statement in Proverbs chapter 8, a chapter which begins with the question, does not wisdom call? Call, this is a Hebrew word that occurs 16 times in Proverbs. For example, chapter 1 verse 24, I have called and you refuse to listen. In today's chapter, it is followed by the parallel question, does not understanding raise her voice? How many fail to understand, especially today? Even try to understand the reason for life, what it is all about. This remarkable chapter personifies wisdom as a person who is totally wise in the way they live their lives. My mouth will utter truth, says wisdom. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteous. There is nothing crooked or twisted in them verses 7 and 8. Wisdom has a sister called prudence, a word which the dictionary defines as the quality of being foreseeing and discreet. And so in verse 12 we read, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion as a result. The next verses say, the fear, that is the awe of the Lord, is hatred of evil. Pride and arrogance and the way of evil and perverted speech, I hate. I have counsel and sound wisdom. I have insight. I have strength. By me kings reign and rulers decree what is just. Is there a ruler who can be described in this way? Even Solomon in his old age faltered. In the New Testament, James states that in contrast to human wisdom, the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Chapter 3, verse 17. Jesus is the embodiment of wisdom, and one day soon he will return from his Father's side to reign with true wisdom, and those who have loved wisdom will rejoice and receive fruit because of their love. The final quotation we will select is, My fruit is better than gold, even fine gold, granting an inheritance to those who love me. Verses 19 and 21. And what an inheritance! In contrast, remember how the chapter ends. All those who hate me love death. Of course, they do not love death. But because they turn their back on wise thinking and doing, in God's eyes they love death. There is no in-between position in life. It is either the broad way that leads to death or the narrow way that leads to life. How increasingly uncomfortable it must be to try to walk, having a foot on each path. Too late, it is realised it is impossible. God is calling. Are you really listening? We hope you found this message from the Bible helpful and thought-provoking. We believe the Bible is God's Word, and as it says, a lamp to our path and a light to our feet. Join us again tomorrow when we open its pages for another Thought for the Day.